When winter rolls around, North Dakota is a cold place to be without a home. And there are an estimated 1,000 homeless people across the state. Our Washington Bureau's Peter Zampa reports on people from here seeking a solution in D.C. With our harsh winters and harsh summers, um, we need our people to be protected. Jamie Lund is 1,300 miles from home, hoping to find homes for others. She works for a Fargo ministry assisting the homeless. At this conference in Washington, she's brainstorming how to better serve the more than 1,000 North Dakotans without permanent homes. It's imperative for us to be able to provide good services to our people. Lund's partner, Reed Hartle, says attending this conference and learning what works in other parts of the country is invaluable. He says one of Fargo's biggest issues is packed shelters. The root of the problem is just that we have people who've been chronically homeless, like I said, for 10 or more years, and that services aren't um, helping them. Reed says solving homelessness in North Dakota is doable. But he says it's going to take some help from folks here on Capitol Hill. The ask is to continue to support homeless programs and to show that that when you provide a house, you really then provide the structure that enables someone to be successful into the future. Senator Heidi Heitkamp says the Trump administration suggested cutting funding for homeless programs in the upcoming budget. Her Senate colleagues are calling for a nearly $100 million increase in their budget plans. If we get the right services, we can in fact see long-term savings by making the right investments at, at this point in time in people's lives. Congress is looking to finalize their budget by the end of September. In Washington, Peter Zampa, NBC North Dakota News.